uncover the surprising truth. Fish, as a collective term, is a misconception. Contrary to popular belief, the term fish encompasses such a vast array of unique species that its usage as a singular concept for all underwater creatures seems illogical. Astonishingly, a genetic comparison reveals that a starfish shares more genetic similarities with a giraffe than with any other aquatic beings. This diversity beneath the waves is truly remarkable, and today we delve into the world of the most extraordinary and distinct oceanic creatures. But before we embark on this adventure, be sure to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and activating the notification bell to stay updated with our amazing daily content. Now let's begin our journey. Number 10. Boxfish Boxfish having trouble finding the perfect pouty face for your next selfie gain inspiration from the boxfish. This unique fish will not only put a smile on your face with its oddball appearance and plump lips, but will intrigue you enough to want to know more about it from the ostracized family. It's a square bony fish that comes in a range of different colors such as brown, yellow, and orange. They have honeycomb patterns on their skin swim as if they are partaking in a rowing competition and are pretty slow. As a result, they aren't about to come in first in any swimming races with their fishy friends. Box. Fish also have heavily armored scales that contribute to their slow movements, but also protect them from predators. If that's not enough, then they're also capable of secreting poison from their skin to keep away unfriendly visitors. They usually release this poison when they feel under stress and it can affect any fish in the box fish's general vicinity. Boxfish live in the Pacific Indian and Atlantic Oceans and some other species of Ostra society, such as the trumpfish live in Florida. And as far as Cape Cod, this strange and boxy little fish undoubtedly earns its title as one of the most unique fish in the ocean. Number 9. Asian Sheeps Hit Rassin If you thought your pet goldfish was a little on the ugly side, then think again. This unusual fish will not only pique your curiosity, but make you recoil in horror too. Known as the Asian sheep's head rassi, it's one of the largest fish in the wee species and native to the Western Pacific Ocean. Aside from its bulbous chin and terrifyingly ugly appeal, there's a lot of reasons to admire this water critter. It's hammetty when it feels like it. It can change from a male and female, then back again, who wishes they could do that? The Asian sheep's head rasa lives on the Korean peninsula of Japan, Ogasawara Islands in China. It can grow up to 39 inches long and has even been found to weigh up to 32 pounds. Most people didn't know such a fish existed until it premiered on a show called Blue Planet 2. In 2017, BBC Earth crew filmed the fish changing gender right before their very eyes for the episode called One Ocean. From that discovery, other stories have come out about the fish. A Japanese diver claims to have struck a strange friendship with an Asian sheep's head wrasse that has spanned over 25 years in Tama Bay, Japan. The underwater Shinto shrine, caretaker hero, Yuki Arakawa names the fish Eureka and calls him by hitting a bell. Number 8. Parafish. Imagine going lure fishing as you do regularly, then pulling up a fish that's not only rare, but you've never seen before. That was the reality for a group of fishermen from a southern omen business in Australia called No Boundaries. The group was out lure fishing on the rocks of Hellet Islands, when one of the fishermen felt something bite his line. Another of the fishermen quickly identified it as a rare parafish that has only been seen around Helani at Island and nowhere else in the world. Panic and excitement ensued as the men tried to bring the fish onto the shore to identify it safely. It had red eyes, strange vampire, like and a vibrant red coloring that set it apart from any other fish in the area. What's more, this fishing group may be the first to catch this fish with allure. They took photos in the video, felt it and held it, then returned it safely to the water for it to live out its days. Happily, this fantastic find is one that those Australian fishermen will remember for the rest of their lives. Now it's time for the odd topic. This right here is what's known as a goblin shark. We don't mean to body shame, but the goblin shark is the ugliest monstrosity to waste space in the Earth's oceans, and we hope they all go away. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark and has even been referred to as a living fossil with their lineage going back as far as 125 million years. They have a flabby body. 
and small fins exhibiting a rather sluggish nature. So, if you're being chased by one, don't fear, you'll be able to get away. Comment down below at the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 7. Stargazer Let's play spot the difference with this fish known as the stargazer versus a normal one. A normal fish has eyes on the sides of its head. This one, however, has them on top of its head. A normal fish will also not often resort to trickery to get its dinner, but the stargazer will. It buries itself in the sand and even uses a worm-shaped lure that grows out of its head to attract its prey's attention. It then strikes when the other fish is least expecting it. They live in shallow and deep salt water, come from a family of 51 species known as Rinaldi, and have some standout features that astound researchers even to this day. Compared to other fish, their anal and dorsal fins are much longer, and not all species even have dorsal fins. If everything else it had going for, it wasn't enough, the stargazer is also venomous. Behind the opera clean above the pectoral fins, you'll spot two venomous spines that can cause electric shocks and send out poison. Even knowing that this fish is both venomous and electric, you can still eat it. It's a delicacy in some cultures, and is for sale in fish markets with the electric organ removed. Given that this fish will shock and poison its victims before it eats them, we're sure there won't be too many people who are sympathetic for this fish to end up on someone else's dinner plate. Number 6. Jawfish Jawfish to look at a jawfish, also known as Sticknath Day, you wouldn't raise an eyebrow. They look like any other fish of the deep, bright, colorful, a little quirky, but not jaw-dropping but then you see them pregnant kind of, and your mouth will hit the floor. Aside from one species of jawfish, they are mouth brooders. This means that instead of hatching their eggs on the seafloor, like any other sane fish, they carry their eggs in their mouth until the fry are born. By doing so, they can keep them safe from predators. After a male and a female jawfish mate, the female will give the eggs to the male to carry her job is done. The male will then carry those eggs for a period of time that differs from one type of jawfish to the next. The gold specks jawfish has a gestational period of between 8 to 10 days, but other fish might be longer or shorter. We can't imagine that carrying your baby in your mouth would ever be all that comfortable, so you can give this fish the Parent of the Year award. Number 5. The Psychedelic Frogfish If you see what looks like a rubber ball ping itself over the ocean floor, then you're likely to do a double take. That's not a ball, it's a psychedelic frogfish. The psychedelic frogfish gets its name from the swirly stripes that cover its entire body. It was first discovered in 2009, and the findings were published in the Copia Scientific Journal. This fish will astound you with its uniqueness. It's flabby, fleshy, and has a small appendage on its forehead. It also doesn't have any scales, but instead has skin that covers its fins along with a mucus coating. It has a face that only a mother fish could love. What people also find awe-inspiring is its structure. Its face is flat with a lateral chin and cheeks and can expand its head while moving its mouth forward. Sometimes it looks like it's letting out a bored yawn. The psychedelic frogfish doesn't move like any other fish either. It uses its fins to launch itself off the seafloor while relying on water to run through its gills in a jet propulsion fashion. As it thrusts forward, it's in the shape of a bowl making it look like it's a child's toy. Bouncing along the ocean Number 4. Flying Fish Imagine admiring a fish so much that you name a missile after it. That's what Nord Aviation did when creating their Exocet and for a good reason. Exocet is French for flying fish, which is the name of 40 different species of fish that happen to fly like it's no big deal. They glide through the Tasman Sea without a care in the world but then take off up to 37 miles per hour out of the water and into the air. There have even been some cases of flying fish traveling over 650 feet. Any normal fish couldn't do this, but the flying fish can over time. It has evolved its special fins to take the illusion of wings, while it won't be turning into a bird anytime soon. It's far more evolved than the boring old seafaring fish. The general consensus is that the flying fish goes into flight mode when it feels under threat by a predator. How better to escape from Jaws' den with flight? Number 3. 
stonefish. Nature was playing a cruel trick one day when it decided to create a fish that was not only one of the most venomous in the world, but also one of the best at a game of hide and seek. The stonefish, which gets its name from its ability to look like a stone, is a fish that's dangerous to other fish and humans. It's found in the coastal regions of both the Pacific and Indian Oceans and is a frequent visitor to Australia. Anyone who stands on it is at risk of having neurotoxins shot from the dorsal gland fins into their foot. When the stonefish feels threatened, it also has additional spines that stick up hoping to poison something and ruin its day. Often the severity of the poisoning can depend on the pressure and length of time you stood on the fish to a human. That pressure or time wouldn't matter for. It hurts terribly for any length of time. When you step on a stonefish, the best options for pain relief and treatment are anti-venom. From a medical professional heat up to 113 degrees in vinegar. Number 2. Puffer fish. The puffer fish is part of the tetrad dawn today family, a group of fish that are particularly spiky when you compare them to others. Fish are supposed to be scaly, but the puffer fish well and truly bucks the trend. It has four strangely large teeth on a fused upper and lower plate, and it uses these to devour mollusks and crustaceans, which it prefers over any other form of marine life. It also puffs out like, well, a puffer fish to deter its enemies. Oh, and one more thing. It's one of the most poisonous fish in the world. No big deal. The liver, skin, and many other internal organs are toxic thanks to the tetradotoxin found within them. You would think knowing that a puffer fish could make you severely ill, that you would find a less harmful fish to eat, but you got to love Asia for their determination. They serve puffer fish as a delicacy, but only when it's served by highly trained chefs who understand both the safe parts to eat and in what quantities. Number 1. Black Chimera How do you feel about never sleeping again? You're okay with it? Okay, listen to this one. The Black Chimera, which we've nicknamed the fish of your nightmares, is a fish that comes from both the ray and shark family. It takes two terrifying creatures, turns them into one, and creates a monster. The black chimera doesn't have any bones. Instead, it has cartilage. It also has two chambered hearts, two fins and nostrils, and a giant venomous spine. It also grows to around five feet long and deserves its alternative names of spook fish and ghost shark. They lay eggs in little leathery pouches, use electroreception to find their prey like a marine version of tinder, and even have retractable appendages. Enough said we're staying on land grossed out, amazed, enthralled. Utterly shocked. Same. The ocean has a lot of explaining to do what amazed you the most. Have any of these fish put you off adding to your goldfish tank? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen now. See you next time.